What is happening, Poké fans? I am back with a new Little Cup battle, and my opponent is my good friend, Mr. Forget88. He's running a quite interesting team uh, using some Pokémon that I really don't see too much around um, in Little Cup, at least Magby and Trico. Uh, Trico especially, I just have never seen it in Little Cup, and I think it's quite interesting that he's running it. Uh, so kudos for creativity there. Um, so I mean, I'm not going to do anything differently than I always do. I'm going to lead off with my Onyx, and the rest is trivial. So um, without further ado, let's get right down to the battle. Woo! Yeah, this is what, my third or fourth Little Cup battle, depending on whether you count um, my uh, DS battles, I'm still just as excited as when I started. So yeah, I go ahead and lead off with my Onyx, and I consider, well, should I taunt, should I set up Soft Rocks? But no, I decide, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm pretty sure I'm faster, I'm gonna go ahead and Earthquake for the easy KO right off the bat. Um, yeah, again, easy KO. He could have been, um, sashed, but I didn't think he would be. Um, I'm kind of curious whether he was going to set up Toxic Spikes, that one might have been interesting, but I don't know what he was going to do. Anyway, it doesn't matter, um, I go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks on this next turn, um, you know, he's obviously going to use Energy Ball, and that's obviously going to get me down in my Sash, um, but it's all, it's all good, so... Um, energy Ball hits really hard for X Effective and whatnot, but again, got my Sash. Gonna go ahead and go for the Stone Edge, the Stab Stone Edge here, just to see how much it does. And it turns out it does almost enough to KO, so quite impressive there. Geico finished me- <laughs> Geico, awesome name by the way. Finishes me off with Dragon Breath, um, which is a beautiful attack in PBR. Very impressed. Um, so yeah, that was cool just to watch. Anyway, um, I go ahead and send out my Cyndaquil. So uh, this is going to be uh, overkill for sure. I'm going to go ahead and go for the eruption here. I consider what to do. Um, but why would he switch out? There's the rocks up and he has no way of getting rid of them. So I'm going to go ahead and go for eruption. Um, way overkill. It takes him out. I guess Trigo could have been running the quick attack. Um, and maybe I should have been worried about that. But whatever. Eruption is so beautiful. Again, I'm just looking for the um, entertainment value here. He sends out his poo. Um, I luckily break his sash, but I'm thinking, oh god, this guy's gonna sucker punch me. Whatever, I, I can't, I have no other choice, I gotta stay in. I go for the eruption. Amazingly, he didn't go for the sucker punch, and that is an, a one hit KO for me for sure. Um, thanks to the fact that I broke his presumed sash. Maybe he had life or life orb, I don't know. Anyway, now he sends out his brain tumor, his ugly ass Magby. Sorry for using that profanity right there. Um, yeah, Magby is not a pretty Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call back. I mean, Eruption might have done some damage, but whatever. I, I like... Um, Fernie is like my favorite Pokemon ever, so I gotta switch it out. I have no idea why I sent it out my, uh, Sean, my, um, shiny, uh, Ghastly. I don't know what I thought he was gonna do, but Flare Blitz, easy KO. Um, and that is not good. I just sacrificed my Ghastly. I guess I was trying to scout out what he was doing, and Ghastly wasn't gonna be the most useful Pokemon in this battle. I don't know. Weird move. Uh, anyway, at this point I go ahead and send out Brookside, my Dratini, who has not yet gotten to do too much. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, Dragon Dance. He's gonna go ahead and go for the Flare Blitz. Of course he's faster, because Magby has base 83 speed. I mean, that's insane for Little Cup. And look at how much damage that does. I think he might, he might be Bandit. That's kind of amazing. But anyway, I recover my health with Oran Berry, and I'm pretty sure I could even take one more, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fool around with it. After this Dragon Dance, I'm just gonna take this sucker out. Um, uh, yeah, I go ahead and go for the Waterfall, which, it's super effective and whatnot, and I luckily outspeed and I take him out. He was down to pretty low HP anyway. Really should have gone for the safe extreme speed, considering how low health he was, just in case, you know, he was Scarf for whatever reason. But it doesn't matter, I got him, and that's great. And now he sends out his Star, uh, Star U. The Ice Beam is obvious, but he's gonna have to outrun me or survive this hit, and that's not gonna happen. I go ahead and go for the Outrage, and that's it. That's a beautiful KO, thanks to the fact that I am at plus one. And so now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is an Eevee, um, and, you know, break, you know, a little bit of Stealth Rock damage. He goes ahead and goes for the Protect here, which I think is strange. I guess he, I figure that's actually not a bad move. He can try to stall on my Outrages, hope I get confused, um, and that might do some work. Um, um, he has Toxic Orb, which is strange. I guess he probably runs Facade. Uh, weird. Anyway, uh, he's not, he doesn't use Quick Attack, which I was also predicting. Um, doesn't matter. I take him out. Uh, outrage for the win, and that is the battle. 
So anyway, hope you folks enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Um, they've got like six seconds left. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I love Little Cup. Uh, so long, folks.